Okay, just going to um, do a unboxing of the um, DTEC 14 by 10 inches um, DD coil for um, the Garrett A series. Um, these coils they go for about um, 99 to 110 pounds. Um, got mine off off of eBay. So let's have a look. Here we go. Right. As you can see, it's quite a big coil. We'll just compare it to the um, stock coil on the um, the Garrett. Yeah, it is rather big. Anyway, so and we'll we'll do some testing as well um, on depth and separation, that kind of thing. So here's the Garrett stock coil. And just compare the size. As you can see, it is rather bigger. So I'd expect to get a bit more depth, or quite a lot more depth, you know, um, a few more inches hopefully, we'll see anyway, we'll do some testing. See you in a short while. Okay, um, just using the stock coil, it's going to, um, if you can see that, I'm going to put this hammered coin, small hammered coin, I'm going to put it down six inches, and uh, just see if the stock coil, the 6x9, picks it up. Help if I turned it on. Nope. Nope. No problem at all. It's um picking that coin up with the stock stock coil. All right. This time we've put the uh, coin down. You can probably still see it there. It's down at nine inches. Uh, I've got a feeling that the stock call won't pick that up. I've got a bit of iron. Well, amazingly, it looks like it's still just about picking it up. Okay, this time um, I've done a test at uh, 12 inches on the stock coil and um, it didn't pick it up. I haven't shown that on camera, but um, the stock call wouldn't pick it up. Um, I'll put the 14 by 10 on, and uh, we'll just see if it picks the coin up. Yeah, it looks like it's working. So, so it looks like um, the uh, 
14 by 10 does actually go deeper. Um, I mean it should do because it's a lot bigger coil. Um, I'll find out about the, um, the stability and um, separation, do some more tests. Um, but uh, I mean it's looking, it's looking good and uh, we'll do some more videos. Anyway, I hope you found that of interest. Definitely um, an improvement over the stock coil. <clears throat> We're just doing air test. Um, you can see that, that small hammered coin again. Um, just doing air test for comparison on the um, 14 by 10. That's uh, about 13, 13 and a half inches, which is pretty good, I reckon. Picking up a bit of um, interference, but it's probably to be expected, being a quite sensitive coil. So let's just try. A cartwheel penny is just try how far see how far that goes in 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 an air test. Okay, so that's going going down to about 17 inches, which is pretty impressive. Obviously it's not in the ground but um, still impressive and uh, here's an old another hammered coin, it's quite uh, a larger one just probably go about the same depth I would imagine yeah so that's going down uh, about 17 inches as well which um, well, it's pretty good going. Quite impressive. I would compare it to the Nell Tornado. In, in fact, it probably goes a bit deep. Well, it seems to be going deeper than Nell Tornado, and I've had a Nell Tornado on a Garrett 250, so I know what I'm talking about. So, um, so I don't think you go far wrong buying this. You'll also notice um, with hammered coins. Um, with a normal stock coil, hammered coins tend to give you a, um, a single tone. Um, but with this coil, being I suppose a double D, and you get a, um, a bell tone with, with a hammered coin. And uh, there's a bit of iron next to the, the um, hammered coin as well. I don't think you can see that. Um, but that doesn't affect things. I've notched the iron out, but. Uh, it uh, recovers, doesn't really affect the um, detection. So if you see what I mean, you're getting a double response there. So, um, yeah, well, oh, anyway, so far so good. Um, we've yet to get this out on the field, but um, I'm pretty sure it's going to pull up some deeper finds. And uh, I'll do another video when I'm um, out in the in the field um, to say I've got some good fields to, got some good fields to go on um, in a very good area. So uh, so we should, should come up with something hopefully. Anyway, catch you in the uh, next video. Hope you find this uh, useful. <laughs>